Good morning, everyone, and welcome to C-SPAN Live from the Florida Aquarium. My name is Janelle, and I'm an educator and entertainer here at the Florida Aquarium. And today, we wanted to bring you into the aquarium once again at our 10 a.m. live weekday spot to share something with you that maybe you're missing out on on the days that we're closed. So today, we're gonna to talk about Washed Ashore, which is our art exhibit that is here through August. So, well, the first one we're gonna share with you is Greta the Great White Shark. Now, for those of you who don't know this already about Washed Ashore, this project was done because the artist, Angela Hazeltine Potsy, was trying to pull all the debris off of the beach and make something beautiful and fantastic with it. And obviously, she has done that with these gorgeous sculptures, unfortunately made from plastic that has come out of the ocean, but it was something she wanted to do to make people aware of how much pollution we actually have and make them really see all the plastic that's coming out of the environment. Now we can check out some of these things on the side. Hey, hey Carrie. Hey, you're on Facebook Live right now. Oh my now. gosh, are you watching me? I'm totally watching you on C-SPAN right now. What are you, what are you doing here? I, I just sit here while we're closed. Have you been in the boat this whole week? Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. Moving on. Um, <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye, Janelle. No, bye, bye, Carrie. Not weird at all. All right, so let's go over this way. We're going to check out Stella, but we'll walk through Moon Bay on our way there. If you haven't seen Moon Bay, you definitely got to come check this out, too. It is a wonderful touch experience. You get to touch jellies. They are super cool. All right, and so we're making our way over to Stella. Stella, the seahorse, of course. Now Stella is probably my favorite sculpture of the Washed Ashore sculptures. Uh, one of the cool things that the artist got to talk to us about was how they handle the plastic and what they do when they pull it off of the beach. And one of the things that I remember her saying she gets a lot of questions about is do you paint the pieces? And I think that comes up mostly with Stella because you can see these pieces on the bottom are actually kind of dark and black, but she says nothing is painted. They go through a process of cleaning each piece, scrubbing it, sorting it by color and by texture, and they actually sew and screw in all these pieces together or lace them together. You can see all of the screws in there as we get kind of close up. And at the top, we can see there's some toilet brushes and some toothbrushes, all kinds of brushes to make the top there. And again, remember, these are all things that came off of a beach, all of the same beaches in the area the artist is from in Bandon, Oregon. All right, so that is our girl, Stella. Now we're gonna make our way upstairs as Megan walks backwards very carefully. Careful, Megan, you're good, you're good. All right, so we're gonna check out the jellies up here as Megan goes and safely gets onto the escalator. And one of the cool things you can see about the jellies is the tentacles that are hanging down um, are actually made mostly from plastic bottles. And a lot of volunteers help with this. Hundreds and hundreds of volunteers help with our Wash to Shore, uh, with the Wash to Shore program. And you can actually see how they're all connected by wire. It's a pretty neat process. We've got a lot of the jellies up here. And as we make our way over to our next spot, I'm gonna tell you about what we can do. So I love that the artist made something really beautiful out of all of this trash. And what she's been able to do is to make sure it ends up not getting back into the trash or even being recycled because upcycling and reusing are our best options. So some things you can do to help out the environment are some pretty simple things. Just try not to use those single use plastics. So the biggest one we have here at the aquarium is just skipping the straw altogether. Most of us don't need straws, we could do without them. We can also get rid of those single-use plastic bags. That is definitely a big one. And probably the next easiest would be to not use single-use water bottles. We use over 500,000 in a day. So that could definitely be a lower, quite a bit. And now we're on to our next cool sculpture. Wow. All right, so we've got our whale bones here. Pretty neat thing to walk through. Something you can check out when you come back to the aquarium. And last but not least, over here, we've got our, some of our coral reefs. Now this section is pretty cool too because you can really see what each thing used to be. We had to consider that all of these things that were made from this artwork are things that we bought once, that we had in our homes, and they ended up in our oceans. Now again, of course, it's really unfortunate, but we've made something really beautiful out of it, 
And we want to encourage people to reduce their plastic use and be mindful of the things we purchase and how we use them. All right, so that's pretty much wrapping up this area. <gasps> Tango! Oh my gosh, I missed you so much. How are you? Oh my gosh, Tango, so good to see you. Oh, Tango, I'm so happy you're here. Did you want to tell this story? Oh my gosh, okay, so this is perfect, you guys. We get to tell a story with Tango, and this is going to be really great because it actually ties into Wash to Shore. Yeah, so Tango, Tango, is there, is there somebody behind you? Is, is there? Hi, Janelle. Hi, Carrie. How are you? Good. Yeah. Did you change? What? Okay. Hi. Um, Carrie, do you want to join our story? I would love to join your story. Oh my gosh, that's so great. Okay, because I actually can use some help with the props. I'm here. Is that cool? Okay, all right. Help. Come over here. Yes, a little stage left. Okay. Perfect. All right, I'm stage right, Tango. Here we go. Oh my gosh, this is great. Okay, so she can help us out with the story. Carrie, so good to see you. Good all to right. see you, too. So this is our story time splash story. When you come back and visit us, you can definitely check this story time out. And we're going to start off by asking them some questions. All right, Carrie? So I want to see what you know about loggerhead sea turtles. Oh, I'm sorry. Some of you may not know Tango. This is Tango the loggerhead sea turtle. She is a 13-year-old sea turtle, and she's very happy and likes pink and sparkles. Don't we all? All right. So I want to ask you some true or false questions about sea turtles, and let's see what you friends at home know. All right, so here we go. Loggerhead sea turtles get their name because they only live in Loggerhead Bay. Do we think that's true or false? No. Carrie, what do we think? I'm gonna go with true. No, I'm oh, sorry, Carrie. It's actually false. Yes, they get their name because of their large heads. And these large heads have very large and strong jaws that they use to crush through some of their favorite shellfish, right? Yeah. Huh. By the way, you didn't eat any of the jellies while we were gone, did you? There you go. Oh well, anyway, we'll talk about that later. Okay, so our next true or false. True or false? Loggerhead sea turtles lay eggs on Florida beaches. What do you think? What do you think? Okay, Carrie says it's true. She's right, it's true. Okay, hopefully you, you friends knew that at home. And that's why we have to be so careful on the beach during hatchling season. All right, here's our last true or false. True or false? Loggerhead sea turtles are doing great and they are not endangered or a threatened species. Uh, okay, I'm afraid that that's actually false. Yes, in fact, all sea turtle species are in danger or threatened. But we're going to help you figure out how to help out Tango and those sea turtles a little bit through the story. All right, so here we go. And now for the story starring Tango the Loggerhead Sea Turtle called Tango the Loggerhead Sea Turtle. You, you, don't, you don't like my title? Okay, okay, how about um, Tango the Loggerhead Sea Turtle and the Sorcerer's Stone? No? Okay. Uh, let me think of another one. Oh, how about Tango the Loggerhead Sea Turtle and The Last Jedi? Oh, I'm really trying here. Okay. Um, oh, wait. Okay. Okay. Tango the Loggerhead Sea Turtle and a series of unfortunate events. Actually kind of makes sense, right? Okay. All right. Here we go. So now, oh, friends at home, you can actually help out with the story too. So there's a couple things we're going to do when you hear certain phrases. Now, anytime you hear me say Tango the Loggerhead Sea Turtle, we're gonna put our hands up like this and say splish splash. All right, let's try it, everybody. Tango the loggerhead sea turtle splish splash. splash. Very good, Carrie, and she's new at this. All right, now next, anytime you hear me say plastic, we're gonna do jazz hands and say no. All right, ready? Plastic no. Very good jazz hands, everyone. Okay, and last but certainly not least, every time we solve a problem, we're gonna say problem solved. Put our thumb up and say booyah. All right, you ready? One more. Problem solved. Booyah! Oh my gosh, you're so good at this. All right, you ready, Tango? She's very ready. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Let's start. Tango the loggerhead sea turtle, splish, splash, was swimming one day off the coast of Florida, minding her own business and having fun like loggerhead sea turtles do when all of a sudden she came across some plastic. No! It was a plastic bag floating through the ocean, going to rest on the seagrass beds. Poor Tango the Loggerhead Sea Turtle, splish, splash, I've never seen this before. Thought it looked like food, and so she ate it. Come on, Tango, uh, for the children. Okay, okay, she says it's okay for the children. All right, there we go. That works. Oh no, Tango, does your stomach hurt? That's right, if turtles eat plastic, no! 
it can make them very sick. So she swam away, hoping to find a way to help her hurting stomach. Her travels took her near a beach that people like to visit, but when she was swimming near the beach, she found more plastic. No! This time, it was a beach toy that was left behind by a family, and it got stuck around her flippers. <gasps> oh, no! It's wrapping itself around her flippers. Oh, the horror. Everything is going black. Too much? Okay, I'm sorry. I'll turn it down. All right. Um, uh, but it is still a really big problem. It's head of the loggerhead sea turtle. Splish! Splash! Can't get her arms free. She might not be able to get back to the surface to get air, but she's still swimming. Finally, she came across her last piece of plastic. No! It was a straw. And then the straw went right up Tango's nose. Okay, um, for the children? No, okay, um, I will give you a crab sandwich. Hold the bread. Yeah? Okay, just put it just under her arms. It's fine. Yeah, okay, just hold that. All right, that works. Okay. So, Tango the Logger and Sea Turtle, splish, splash, is in trouble. Should we help her? Yeah. yeah! Okay, I think we should. So, here is the problem, folks. These pieces of plastic, no, are things we don't really need. They are tools we use for maybe 20 minutes of our lives, but they will be a part of our environment forever. Plastic, no, never really goes away. It just gets smaller and smaller until it ends up in the animals we eat and eventually inside of us. But if we use reusable bags, oh, can you take off Carrie, please. Thanks. If we use reusable bags, great. Then this never gets into the ocean and never gets eaten by turtles. Now remember, when we have a problem solved, we say booyah. Remember, problem solved. Booyah. And if we clean up on our, ourselves after the, uh, going to the beach, making sure we leave nothing behind but footprints, then turtles won't get stuck in our stuff. Problem solved. Booyah! And if we use reusable straws or just skip the straw altogether, then this won't get caught up Tango's nose. Problem solved! Booyah! Yeah. And now we see Tango the loggerhead sea turtle splish, splash, swimming through the ocean just like she should be, happy and free. All because we kicked the bad habit, kept the beach clean, and skipped the straw. Remember, together we can make an ocean of difference. Problem solved! Booyah! Awesome! Let's give a round of applause to our friends at home. Yay! Yay! Hope you guys got all of that. Give it up for Carrie and Tango! Yay! That was a lovely story. Thank you so much, ladies. So, everyone, thank you so much for joining us today on C-SPAN. Now, remember, you can watch this video on our YouTube channel or on our website. If you want to learn more about Wash to Shore, also at our website, flaquarium.org or washtoshore.org. And don't forget to tune in next week on Monday because the penguins will be walking the aquarium. Very cool stuff. So Janelle, yeah. just one thing I have to point out. Point it out. Point it out. Point Even it though out. the aquarium is closed right now, our conservation ne efforts never stop. So I'm excited to tell you all that this week we were able to release two of our loggerhead sea turtles who had been with us rehabilitating after a cold stun in the Atlantic Ocean up by Cape Cod. We released them on the east coast of Florida, and now we are going to be sharing that story with you. So go on our website and learn about what we do with sea turtles. And if you want to do something fun, you can adopt virtually your own sea turtle. You can adopt Tango. Wow. So we encourage you to go Florida flaquarium.org forward slash adopt an animal and find out how you can do more to help our conservation efforts. And until then, we'll see you on Monday. Stay current.